اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about Surah 50 of sequence of our discussion would be introduction, how Surah was named, connection between the beginning and the ending of the Surah, period of revelation, virtue of the Surah, what lesson, guidance, major issues and reflection we learned from this surah. Now let us start with introduction. This surah stands at serial number 50 in the compilation of Holy Quran and got 45 verses. The surah emphasizes upon the theme of resurrection and the ultimate success of those who have faith in Allah and His Prophets. The nature points out to the resurrection and Allah is closer to us than our jugular vein. The death, the end of the world and the resurrection and doomsday is the final judgment day. How the surah takes its name? The surah takes its name from the first ayat. A'uzu billahi minash rajeem Qaf Wal Quran il Majid of by the honored Quran. Connection between the beginning and the ending of the surah. There is a mention of the word Quran in the beginning and end of the surah. For example, of Wal Quran il Majid of by the honored Quran. Then Nahnu alamu bima yakuluna wa ma anta alayhim bi jabbarin fazakkir bil Quran man yakhafu wa eid We are most knowing of what they say and you are not over them a tyrant but remind by the Quran whoever fears my threat Giving life to the dead after death is mentioned in the beginning and the end. The virtue of the surah. The Prophet would recite this surah in the two Eid Salahs along with Surah Al Qamar, Sahih Muslim number 1936. Isham bin Tiharisa anhu, memorized this surah due to the frequency of the Prophet وسلم, mentioning in it in the Juma Khutbas Sahih Muslim number 1894. Period of Revelation There is no authentic tradition to show as to when exactly this surah was sent down. A study of the subject matter, however, reveals that its period of revelation is the second stage of the Holy Prophet Wasallam's life at Mecca, which lasted from the third year of the prophethood till the fifth year. We have given the characteristics of this period in the introduction to the Surah Al-Inam. In view of those characteristics, it can be said that this surah might have been sent down in about uh, the fifth year when the antagonism of the disbelievers had become quite intense but had not yet assumed tyrannical proportions. Theme and topics discussed in the surah. Authentic traditions show that the Holy Prophet used to decide this surah generally in the prayer on the Eid days. A woman named Umm Hisham bin Harisa, who was a neighbor of the Holy Prophet says that she was able to commit Surah Kaf to memory only because she often heard it from the Holy Prophet ﷺ in the Friday sermons. According to some other traditions, 
he often recited it in the fajr prayer this makes it abundantly clear that this was an important surah in the sight of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam that is why he made sure that its contents reached as many people as possible over and over again this reason for this importance can be easily understood by a careful study of the surah the theme of the entire surah is the hereafter when the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam started preaching his message in makka what surprised the people most was the news that people would be resurrected after death and they would have to render an account of their deeds they said that that was impossible human mind could not believe that that would happen after all how could it be possible that when the body had disintegrated into dust the scattered particles would be reassembled after hundreds of thousands of years to make up the same body once again and raised up as a living body allah in response sent down this discourse in it on the one hand arguments have been given for the possibility and occurrence of the hereafter in a brief way in short sentences and on the other the people have been warned as if to say whether you express wonder and surprise or you regard it as something remote from reason or deny it altogether in any case it cannot change the truth the absolute unalterable truth is that allah knows the whereabouts of each and every particle of your body that has scattered away in the earth and knows where and in what state it is allah's one signal is enough to make all the scattered particles gather together again and to make you rise up once again as you had been made in the first instance likewise your this idea that you have been created and left free to yourself in the world and that you have not been made answerable to anyone is no more than a misunderstanding the fact is that not only is allah himself directly aware of each act and word of yours even of the ideas that pass in your mind but his angels also are attached to each one of you who are preserving the record of whatever you do and utter when the time comes you will come out of your graves at one call just as young shoots of vegetables sprout up from the earth on the first shower of the rain then this heedlessness which obstructs your vision will be removed and you will see with your own eyes all that you are denying today at that time you will realize that you had not been created to be irresponsible in this world but accountable to all your deeds the meeting out of the rewards and punishments the hell and heaven which you regard as impossible and imaginary things will at that time become visible realities for you in consequence of your enmity and opposition to the truth you will be cast into the same hell which you regard as remote from reason today and the ones who fear the merciful god and return to the path of righteousness will be admitted to the same paradise at whose mention you now 
express wonder and surprise what lesson guidance major issue reflections get from this sura life after death is a reality and there is nothing strange about it allah has assigned two angels to each person for no- noting down each single word that he utters every disbeliever will be thrown into hell and hell shall be us are you full hell will answer are there some more admonish people with the quran and bear with them the impatience alhamdulillah we have completed the study of this surah may allah bless us with the right guidance and to implement it in our lives jazakumullah khair please stay tuned to jameel tv for receiving further such videos